Hi friends. If you are traveling to Thailand and need to withdraw cash from an ATM there, this video is for you. You will see where to find safe ATMs, which ATM cards can be used, how much money can be withdrawn in a single transaction, and how much ATM fee will be charged to your account. You will also learn about a deception called dynamic currency conversion or DCC and how to avoid it. Let's begin. Safest ATMs in Thailand can be found at airports, in busy shopping malls, train stations, and busy roads. Personally, I prefer using ATMs in shopping malls because I get a choice of banks and the ATMs are usually ready to dispense cash. In Thailand, cash can be withdrawn from ATMs using cards issued by Visa, MasterCard, Union Pay, JCB, Maestro, American Express, Visa Electron, and a few more brands. If your card is a MasterCard, Visa, or Union Pay, it will be accepted at almost every ATM. Coming to the transaction limits, most ATMs in Thailand can dispense up to 20,000 Thai baht cash in a single transaction. I have read about ATMs that can dispense 25 or 30,000 baht at a time, but have never seen one. It is important to withdraw as much as possible in a single transaction because of the fee charged by ATMs in Thailand. The ATM usage fee per transaction is 220 baht, regardless of how much you withdraw. Whether you take 1000 baht or 20,000 in one transaction, the fee will be 220 baht. This fee is charged by the ATM provider in Thailand and is added to the amount withdrawn. For example, if you withdraw 10,000 baht, the amount of the transaction is reported to your bank as 10,220 baht. Any other charges, levied by the card issuing bank, will be extra. As you can see, withdrawing cash from an ATM in Thailand, can be expensive. There is more. Many ATMs in Thailand, push foreign tourists, to opt for DCC, or dynamic currency conversion. This is a scam and further increases the cost of using ATMs in Thailand. Let us see how DCC works. A user tries to withdraw 10,000 baht from an ATM. The ATM shows an offer to charge the user's account in home currency instead of Thai baht. The actual amount charged to the user's account in home currency will include ATM usage fee, currency markup fee, and taxes. In addition, a cash withdrawal fee will be charged by the card issuing bank. DCC transactions usually cost more than a fair amount and must be avoided. If the ATM is giving you the option to say yes or no, choose no. And if the ATM is forcing you to opt for DCC, better cancel the transaction and look for a different ATM. ATM providers are already earning a fee of 220 baht. They don't deserve any more money from us. ATM usage fee in Thailand may change in the days to come. The fee mentioned here, was correct at the time of recording the video. For any other information or feedback, please write a comment below, and I will respond as soon as possible. Consider giving a thumbs up, if you like the video, and subscribe for more such videos in the future. Many thanks for watching.